Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Baunol 300 Blackout Steel Cased Ammo. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. That's where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on a product before I get into the full review and you guys can see all the testing. Uh, so with Barnall Ammo, this is uh, steel cased. I've been running their 223 9 mm and 7.62. It's always ran flawlessly for me and it's a really good price. So when I found out that they were coming out with a 300 blackout, I got really excited because the price was really cheap. You're looking at 50 cents around. The cheapest I found was 44 cents around, which is really good for 300 blackout. It's one of the biggest downfalls with this caliber. It's so fun to shoot, especially suppressed, but it's very expensive. So before we get into the testing, this stuff shot flawlessly. The accuracy was actually pretty good. I'm pretty happy with what I saw and uh, especially for the setup. I mean, I don't have a magnified optic or anything. It's just a red dot and uh, there's nothing super fancy about this gun. It's just a pretty simple build that I did with a ballistic advantage barrel, the optical RV1 optic, and then a radical firearm suited to Cal can. So nothing crazy about this gun to make it really super accurate, but the accuracy test did do well and functionality, it worked really good. Uh, it was a little dirty, but what suppressed 300 blackout ammo isn't. So that's not really a con. And uh, the fact that you can actually shoot and go out and train and use your gun and practice more with it is a super big benefit. So really happy with the ammo so far and I'm looking to buy some more so I can get uh, some more training and practice with this stuff. Let's get right into my relationship with Barnell. Now I did not pay for this ammo, they sent it to me to test and I really appreciate them doing that. I will be purchasing some more here in the future because I would like to have a nice bulk order of this for this gun. So with all that being said, let's get right into the actual footage of the testing. So if you guys are sticking around and you actually wanna see the footage, aside from the 30 second breakdown, uh, we'll get right into that. I'm out at the range doing the accuracy testing for the 300 blackout steel cased ammo. I've got the bipod on here, so this will be a lot easier to do. We're out at 50 yards right now. Um, I've got all these different color mags here for my 300 blackout because if you guys seen my previous video, which I'll tag here, uh, I almost blew up one of my guns because I had a 300 blackout and a 223. So now I use these absolutely crazy mags from Duramag and that helps me differentiate between 300 blackout and hopefully I'll never have that issue again. So I definitely recommend doing different mags or something or some kind of tagging system when running 300 blackout two two three. Of course the wind decided to pick up right now, but I'm really happy with this group. These three are fantastic. Uh, that one I think was a little bit of a throwaway, but that gives you guys a little bit idea of accuracy. The accuracy test went well. I was running a day optical RV1 with zero magnification at 50 yards. I'll show you if you can see the dot there on the top corner. Uh, so pretty happy with how that went so far. I will continue to do some shooting to see if anything changes. Now I'm going to go to the test of suppressed and non-suppressed. I did not have to move anything with my gas system. So I was running on fully suppressed for the bootleg adjustable bolt carrier. So I'm sure I'll have to mess around with that here when I take the can off. But I'm going to go shoot another 10 rounds and see how it runs. And then I'll take the can off, adjust this, and see how it runs unsuppressed. So I wanted another 10 rounds suppressed just to see how it continues to function. So I decided to continue to shoot at paper. I just wanted to see some more accuracy with it. I made one adjustment since my grouping was a little bit low. I went one up. So I'm going to shoot another group in a three here and see where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot two more to finish that group. All right, let's go check it out. Here's the second grouping, and I went one click up, so that's why everything shifted up just a little bit. So still really happy with this. If I was running a magnifier, I could probably get a little bit more consistency, but so far with steel cased ammo, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this mag out. I probably still have about five maybe a little more rounds through this thing. So we'll finish them off, just running a quick drill with this and uh, continue to do the functionality test with suppressor, then we'll remove it. So on buzzer. All 
right, so we're suppressed all the way on the suppressed side on the bootleg adjustable bolt carrier group. Uh, steel case is still running really well. So I'm gonna go to a non suppressed see how it runs there. So now that you guys saw everything for yourself, um, it was actually pretty quiet too. I know they're gonna be coming out with Subsonics here in the future, not sure when they're coming out. Hopefully soon, because I really wanna get my hands on them. I don't know the price on those. It's probably gonna be a little bit more, uh, but it's still gonna be a lot cheaper than the competitors on the market right now. Because anywhere, you're kind of looking from 70 to a dollar around, depending what kind of ammo, how nice you're getting. Yes, it's steel cased. Yes, it's gonna be a little dirtier, um, but if you can bulk order a lot of it and get out and train and be able to actually practice with your firearm and get really comfortable with it, because that's the biggest downfall, I think, 300 Blackout for me, is this gun, I'm able to bulk order 1,000 rounds. It really doesn't hurt the budget too much, but you bulk order 1,000 rounds of decent 300 Blackout, you know, you're spending a lot of money and it kind of hurts to go out and shoot 100, 200 rounds at a time and, and practice. It makes you makes you cringe a little bit because you're like, ah, you're spending a little bit too much money here. With something like this, I've been able to put thousands of rounds through this and get comfortable with this gun. With this one, I probably only put about a thousand, which isn't a ton. I mean, that's not uh, a lot of rounds to be able to get really, really comfortable, especially with the suppressor. This is my first suppressor, so I'm still a little iffy about them. So I still have yet have really any malfunctions, especially with this adjustable bolt carrier, which is really nice. Um, and it works really well for bootleg, but still really iffy. So until I get more rounds through, I'm really not gonna be able to 100% get comfortable with this. So with this ammo, I was able to go out, shoot 100 rounds, and it really doesn't break your bank as much and make you a little bit more worrisome. So you can actually get out and train with this gun, get comfortable with the platform, and make sure that it's 100% reliable in your mind before you go ahead and, and put it into a, a self-protection position. So would I recommend this ammo when I purchase it with my own money? Uh, yeah, I would recommend this ammo. I think it's fantastic ammo to go out and train with, maybe even just have a bulk order, just in case something happens to have a bulk amount of them laying around for uh, backup if needed. Now, I'm not gonna say if you're really gonna want to run suppressed and really be super, super quiet and the best you can run, uh, then no, you're probably not gonna wanna order this because it's it's obviously not gonna be the best that you can get. So if you're running, you wanna run some Sonics, you wanna get really quiet, really good uh, tight groupings at 100 yards and everything, then you're gonna wanna probably spend a little bit more and, and get a nicer bullet. But if you're gonna look for something that you wanna go out and train, it's gonna do the job, it's gonna get it done, um, it's still gonna be pretty quiet, then Definitely, I would definitely recommend these and I'm gonna order more. I'm probably gonna bulk order a thousand if I can. Uh, Fortunately, finding things in stock is pretty difficult right now with everything going on, uh, but I do recommend the second you see something in stock and you can afford it, then I think you should order that because I'm telling you right now, things are getting, things are getting pretty bad and they're only gonna get worse. So take it for what it is and do with what you want with that information. So definitely keep your powder dry and stay prepared. If you have something that you want to purchase or that you need, body armor, ammo, mags, firearms, uh, get it purchased because uh, things are getting things are getting interesting. So, not going to get too political on this. Not going to go too far into that. So, just take it for what it is and uh, be prepared. So, if you guys are interested in ordering some, 
Can't link them in the description because YouTube hates guns. Uh, so you just search Barn Owls and you guys will be able to find them. So hopefully you can find some in stock. It's pretty difficult, unfortunately. But if you do, let me know how you like it. If you've ran it already, let me know your success and how uh, you've liked it so far. And uh, if you guys want to help out me and the channel here and everything I do, there's two ways to do that down in the description. There's Patreon and then there is a link to my website. From there, you can go to other websites like Brownells, uh, Aero Precision, Cloud Defensive, anything you purchase using my link. Gives me a small kickback and shows those companies that I am generating traffic, which is always a good thing and helps me out and helps me be able to uh, afford things like camera equipment, editing software, ammo, guns, accessories, things for me to review for you guys. That helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. If you don't, not a big deal. I just appreciate you guys being here. Like and comment, share and subscribe. Another company that really helps me out a ton is Howitzer. I rep them in all my videos because I absolutely love these guys. Love their shirts, wear them every day and uh, they give 5% of charity. And they give 5% of their proceeds to charity, which is such a cool thing. They gave over $200,000 away last year. So really excited to see what they do this year. And uh, got a lot of things coming down the pipe for uh, the rest of the year. It's getting really crazy with COVID. Uh, like I said in the last video, I've got school coming up here. So I'm going to be really, really busy. So bear with me as I'm trying to get videos out to you. Um, but crazy year. Got a lot of things planned. And I look forward to the things coming up here in the future. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and shoot me in a DM or a comment here on YouTube. Um, Instagrams, the DMs. I get confused sometimes. There's so many, so many social media platforms. So appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.